Good morning. This is Linda from Another Time, and I'm on my way into um, a little town we live nearby, um, well, 14, 15 miles away, and um, some of you may know, but I'm on my way in to pick up some cat food, and I just thought I'd do a morning vlog. Anyway, goes my phone it's gonna be doing that I need to get the camera mount in here and I haven't done it so I ask that you I just apologize so I hope you forgive me anyway um, it's kind of a cloudy day today so I don't know how uh, what I'm gonna be doing I wanted to go fishing with the dogs on the pond they love to go fishing when I go out there so I was thinking about doing that, so maybe I'll take you along for that. Um, pretty much the pool area is all cleaned up. The garden is all planted, except for I do need to plant some more kale. And all of the wood chips that I have are down. And I may be contacting uh, Chip Drop to get another load of wood chips because I want all of the garden to have wood chips on it. I just don't want part of it. But um, And I definitely want to put it around the fruit trees and stuff. So I'll probably be contacting them. Um, what else is going on? Oh, my grandchildren are coming out today, which I'm excited for. I always get excited every weekend that they come. My little grandson, he's growing up though and you know and he's getting in that age where he wants to be with his friend friends or friend or whatever but since we have the pool going now he's excited about that and uh, so hopefully he'll come out and want to go swimming it may storm today they said we are probably going to get storms or impact weather but um that's okay. Garden needs some water. And um, I have things I could do, but it feels good just not having to do anything today. It's, most of the animals are squared away. And I do want to get some, wanted to get some wood chips in their pen. So I may just contact Chip Drop. Because I need them for the chickens, and I need them for the rest of the garden, and I could use them also in flower beds. So, I'll just do that. Um, sprayed the fruit trees yesterday. I just spray them with neem oil, because I don't want any chemicals. And I made a big mistake one time. I had a, had a container of neem oil and why I have to replant my uh, kale, pick up some more kale, not all of it, but some of it. I had a, a thing of weed oil, a weed killer that was the same color and same type of container that my neem oil was in. And I was in a hurry the other day. couldn't believe it. I grabbed that weed killer and sprayed my kale, thinking it was neem oil to keep the bugs off, and not even paying attention, not looking, and I had just forgot that weed killer was even there, so I mean, I didn't even think about it. I felt sick, killed those plants, but, and they were getting pretty so I, you know I'll have to go see what I can find and then just replant them and um, I'd like to find uh, I planted some Crenshaw seeds I hope they'll come up I noticed that I have a rabbit that's getting into the greenhouse getting into my straw bells underneath which I don't even know how because I had uh, hard, well, I 
of chicken wire in there. So I must shoot through the chicken wire. So, yeah, it's not making me very happy. Uh, ruined a couple of tomato plants. I replanted them, but... And I figured it was a rabbit, but I had no clue as to how big it was and I, until I saw it running across the yard yesterday. And I'm just kind of surprised my dogs haven't gotten it yet. Lucy and Azzy. Lucy Lou hasn't had her puppies yet. Um, I'm a little nervous because she kind of caught us off by surprise and I haven't I don't even know how to go about rehoming them. I mean, I, I guess I'll rehome them on Facebook or something. I just don't want a lot. And I should have got her fixed. I wanted to get her fixed. But we just assumed because Azzy, we used to have another great Pyrenees and her name was Bella. And we loved Bella. We got her she, in, I don't remember what year it was, but she was five years old when she died. But anyway, Bella had issues. She was the sweetest dog at times, but then other times she was aggressive. And um, we always thought it might be because she was the runt of the liver. Li I just said runt, runt of the liver. She was the runt of the litter. And uh, she had, we had gotten her when she was three weeks old. We bottle fed her. And she um, developed parvo. And she was quite ill. We had to, you know, the vet gave us the, uh, the saddlebag IV solutions and we took you know did that at home and she was she recovered from it but she always had this aggressive side and I I don't know if it was because of her mother her mother was very aggressive very just mean natured would even bite her owner several times Anyway, we used to call her Crazy Daisy. <coughs> but, oh, excuse me. I have to take a drink of my Diet Dr. Pepper that I like so much. I'll tell you what, my channel ever blows up at all. <laughs> anyway, I just had to throw that in there. But if my channel ever blows up at all, you know. And, and their sponsorships. I hope it's Diet Dr. Pepper because I love this drink. And no, this, this video is not sponsored. Oh, it's so refreshing. I can remember when I was a little girl. I mean, I'm talking about three or four years old. And my parents used to send me to this little vending machine. My dad, we, uh, he'd go work in the potato warehouses in California uh, when I was like three or four. And we'd stay in these little motel, hotel, whatever, just some little outside motel, cottage motel kind of thing. You know, probably about all they could afford. And my mom would send me to go get um, them Dr. Peppers out of the vending machine. I used to think it was so cool and they'd, they'd stick them in the freezer until they had just some ice on it and it always looked so refreshing. She never gave us any. So <laughs> that's probably why I drink it now is because I'm like, I'm going to drink my own. Anyway, um, back to Bella. So Bella was, also had this aggressive side to her. 
and she, her and Azzy, you know, she'd go into heat and I think that she was going to have puppies and um, she never, ever, ever got pregnant. So we just assumed it was more likely Aslan than Bella and I don't know why, it's just something you know, that popped in our head. And so, and, and actually Bella and Aslan never really bonded that closely. Bella just kind of, I don't know, she was just a different dog. I, I loved her, I loved her, but you know, we ended up having to have her put down because she started to get aggressive to the grandkids and to me and you know I mean you can't have a dog that's aggressive I mean, if you're trying to feed them or around babies and children and so and there were, I mean I just I don't know I think she I think her medical issues or genetics or something just really played a role in something being wrong with her. Well, I'm going to cut this video off for right now. I'm going into tractor.